Oh. Hold on, right quick. I had to pull up my phone up. Okay. Um. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at the Facebook. Uh, okay, so you're calling about our job ad. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got a few questions uh about it. Okay. Okay, um, I can definitely answer those for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Well, um, hold on, right quick. Okay. Take your time. All right. So I'm taking uh I'm taking voice notes so I can go back over this uh and compare it to uh, to the other companies I've called today. Um, okay. So my big question is, um, you, you said in the Facebook group, uh, uh, group, <laughs> the Facebook post. No, I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. It's okay. Um, <laughs> you're good. You says, uh, you guys might be able to help out with anybody that has a less than perfect MVR. Can you go into a little bit mm-hmm. detail about that as far as? What's your guys' um, version of less than perfect? So basically, we have a very good rapport with our current insurance provider. Um, we've been with them for 30 plus years. So if there is any possible way of getting someone cleared on our insurance, we have pull in that regard. If there is any way of making whatever dust, that's on your MVR sort of look shiny and pretty, we will make it happen is basically what that means. It really depends on, on what is there, how bad it is. Um, and if there's any way that we can be creative with a description when we are submitting the MVR. Okay. 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 Awesome. Now let me ask you this. What about for, what about, uh, drivers that has been in the, uh, FMCSA's clearinghouse, but uh, they they got out and they're in the SAP program. Would you guys be able to help them out too? So that one I can only say after I run the query just to see what happens. As long as everything looks okay, I'll have to do some research on what exactly it shows me. Um, but I'm going to say I'm not going to rule it out until I get the full picture. Does that make sense? Okay, awesome. That makes plenty of sense. Uh, how much experience? Yeah, we're very creative. <laughs> How, how much experience do you guys require? A uh, minimum of two years of current, over-the-road, relevant experience is what we need. Okay, so actually, uh, so you, you need actual over-the-road, say, like, for somebody that's been driving, uh, like, the oil fields, or, or they've been... Uh, Operating a Class A motor vehicle. Mm-hmm. For the last two years, in some way, shape, or form. Gotcha. All right. Um, d- d- all right. So, quick question on the uh, on the clearinghouse. By the way, pre-employment drug screening, hair follicle, or urine, or both? Uh, we just do the urine. Okay. Okay. Um, what's the uh, mileage pay or pay per mile with you guys? So that is kind of a two-part answer. The plain Jane answer is we pay everybody 50 cents per mile per loaded mile. However, we do have a bonus program because it's meant to inspire people to stay over the road for at least 14 days. So as long as you meet the guidelines for the 14 days, we give you a 10 cent bonus per every loaded mile. So technically it's 60 cents per mile as long as you stay over the road for 14 days at a time. What about for drivers that has... I don't know, uh, seven, six, seven, eight, ten years. Was that seven or eighteen? Uh, no, seven, <laughs> seven to seven to ten years. Would would they still uh, be coming in at fifty cent a mile, or yeah. would they be? Oh, okay. So yep. it's fifty cent yeah, a mile coming in the door. Board, yeah, it's cross board. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Uh, what kind of equipment do you guys uh, have? So currently, the truck that we are trying to fill is a 2016 Peterbilt 587. Um, just had a bunch of work done to it, so it's like a brand new truck, super solid. I mean, it doesn't look super new, but I mean, it's a 2016, but it runs like a boss. What? So, <laughs> what? What is? What is governing that? It's not governed at all. Oh, okay, so that was we don't open. In that, we feel like that is very unsafe. Awesome. Okay. So. 
any any uh any da- uh any driver cams in in there as well or no? No, I would prefer to not know what you're doing in there. To be honest with you. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, now you guys is located out of. Treat- I'm sorry. As long as you're treating the as long as you're treating the equipment with respect, I'll have never need to know what's going on on your private time awesome. in that truck. I really don't. All right. <laughs> so what? Um. So. What are the amenities inside the truck since you want us to stay out for about two weeks at a time? So basically how that one works is this unit does not have a refrigerator or anything, but, you know, whatever you need as far as, like, I've seen people put a cooler in there that would have the auxiliary plug, and you that's how they keep their stuff cold. Um, if you wanted to get a refrigerator we'll have it put in um it's just all of our trucks have different amenities it's just because it's what we get during those different times that we buy them because we don't we always get like the leftovers of whatever like larger companies order and we just kind of pick and choose we go, okay this one works okay this one works okay okay <laughs> um but that one has a large sleeper in it as far as personal items and what you're going to need for your own comfort we don't provide those because well Nobody buys me a couch for my living room, so. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but whatever you need, whatever you need, you know, and whatever you want to do in there, you know, as long as you're treating the stuff with with respect, we understand that it is your home away from home. Make it your home. All right, you know? awesome, awesome. All right, so how how is the dispatches? Like, do we get to choose, if we're a company driver, do we get to choose from a low board or if we're, if we're dispatch, how do we receive our dispatch and is it forced? You talk to me. I'm the one who gives everybody the loads. The owner's the one who does all of the booking of the freight. He sort of picks um, the freight. As far as if you've got a request a request on where you'd like to go, he can do his best to um, accommodate that. But with the way the world is going and the way the freight is going, we kind of have to be a little bit picky and choosy about what we take. we got to make money. We're a smaller company, you know? <laughs> so, gotcha. Um, you know, I mean, he's not going to put you anywhere that's not safe because he's, he, like I said, he was a truck driver for since the 70s. You know, he was out there driving himself until the last 10 years. So he knows probably more about these roads than anybody that we got actually as a driver right now. So, okay, okay. Um, he doesn't force any East Coast. We don't go to California. We may go to Oregon like once or twice a year um i mean if there's a, a an option where you have a couple to choose from and you'd like to i mean we'd present you with the option but with the way freight is going right now chances are just having one load to pick from is probably going to be a good good bet because <laughs> okay. he doesn't like anybody sitting he does not like anybody sitting so he'll take the best pay without having a bunch of dead time all right uh we get paid we get our settlements from you guys every week and if so, yeah, weekly. if so, is there any guarantee pay on that or is it just straight mileage pay? It's just straight mileage pay. But if you want to run, you'll he'll, he'll run you, you know, um, if you don't really want to run that hard, he won't push you. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's your paychecks literally up to you. OK, OK. What about a pet and rider policy and how what's what's the youngest I can bring my uh, rider? Um, is the rider, let's say, a child of yours? Yes. Um, how young are we talking? Uh, four. Four? Yes. Um, you could probably bring them with you every once in a while. I I don't think it would be something that we could have you do all the time. We have like a hold harmless form basically stating that if you ever choose to to take a, a rider with you, we have to get it approved by the boss man, which, I mean, he doesn't. He's not, like, a huge stickler as long as you're doing what's right for the company. Um, you know, as long as it doesn't really cause any problems or whatever, we just have you fill out a form basically not holding us responsible in case anything were to happen, you know, okay. um, to the person that you brought with you. Um, as far as pets, it depends on the size. Okay, okay. What about... Uh, what no, about- I'm- oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. As long- no, you're fine. I was just saying everything's up for discussion as long as you're being open and honest. Gotcha. Yeah. What about a what about a sign on incentive? We do not have that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, 
Sounds interesting. You got, you know, I probably <laughs> might have reservations on the 50 cent a mile considering, you know, where what I'm making. But I will pass this no, on. I, yeah. I, you know, I, I will pass this on to my other, I mean, to my other. I will pass this on to my other fellow drivers that's that's in the market. So I would definitely give them the information and give them the number to you. Uh, you guys is located, again, you guys is located out of Valeria, Ohio? Yep. Yep. We're right here in Valeria, Ohio. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Good, you're great, great information. Yeah, you're thank you, ma'am. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call back. I will do that. Wow. Great conversation. What do you guys think about that call right there, man? Let's let's do a little this let's do a little deep dive into that. 50 cent a mile, 60 cent with the bonus. Uh the truck is a Peterbilt and it's ungoverned and it doesn't have the dreaded driver camera. What I I think what I did forget to ask was it an automatic or a manual? But really, does it really matter? Does it really matter in an ungoverned truck, bro? <laughs> that shouldn't matter, you know. Now it's a older truck. They just got it. They they just got a lot worked on, and that's the truck I believe she said that they're trying to fill. This is a family-owned company. The name of the company is called Northcut Trucking. They're located out of Illinois. I mean, not Illinois. Why do I keep messing up? They're located out of Elyria, Ohio. The information will be in the description for you, so you can give them a call, find out if this company will work for you. Uh, again, they have, they have right now, they only have one open position, regional, uh, you got to have at least two years of over-the-road experience. And if you want to run, they will run you. You get paid weekly with direct deposit. Again, the equipment that you'll be driving is a Peterbilt. They have no touch freight, and they are non-hazmat, so you don't need your hazmat. Um, the benefit starts in 60 days. And... The big ticket here is that if you do have a little bit of skirmish, this company might give you a second chance. All right. Talk to Tiffany. Phone number is 440-458-5139. And that's going to do it for the MTC Company Spotlight on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, our bars, you got pops. Merge red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I'm gonna make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.